Welcome to part 2 guys Here in South Africa Durban Remember it had a Creepy creepy past With lots Of cannibalism That took place In this location And the owner killed himself Along with other encounters I hear footsteps now it's very easy to just, um, they don't have the same flooring here. We've got those loose tiles, so you can actually see the tiles moving and hear it. Lots of other deaths that took place in this area. And a lot of people claim to see this little girl running and also crying and now. Rain pouring, it sounded like... Um, you were inside a toilet, a cistern, something like that. It was very hectic. And I woke up and I felt a hand here on my face, on my, on my forehead. Any one of them, can you touch it? Oh, there we go. There you. Oh, shit. Full body apparitions and much, much more. <laughs> On this channel, we don't fake anything. This is 100% real which you are about to see. Now, I told you, this hotel is based in Durban. And it has a really creepy past, guys. It's still active, but at one time, it was abandoned. And the new owner came in and is revamping the place and was kind enough to let us in to explore. Now the three of us, Nick, Michelle and myself, enter the building. Now we're going to start today's video where we left off. The three of us were busy investigating and remember I left the camera on the windowsill and something was thrown at us. Let's start today's video from there. Now while I was in the other room, I was changing my battery and then we heard the loud bang. Okay, we got a big bang now guys. I'm just setting this camera up. Alright. Let's do a small box. Michelle knows. Bits 
on the history of the place, it said something about the original owner had hung himself in the valley. He committed suicide and hung himself. It said valley, I It said valley and it said choked earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it said, it said choked earlier. Now it's, then it said strangled. Yeah. It? Now it said suffocate. suffocate. So that's pretty close. Yeah. Maybe he's still here. Quite possibly. Okay, let's go for that spiritual guy because that one seems to be most accurate right now. <laughs> I told you guys I don't like this app, but it seems to be quite spot on. And the vocals have told me that same story as well about the guy hanging himself on the back. So he's probably still here. And at night they can also hear a little girl crying. Are you the owner that's still here in this building? You can, if you are, come forward. Speak to us. Boss. Boss? Okay, are you the boss of this place? If you want to be called. In front of you. Okay, if you're in front of me, close the door. Push the door close. Or just make it move. Or knock. The house is so cool, it's just that it's breaking every time. Well, right? it's continuous from here, it stops open. So they definitely. I'm a child. Did they say I'm a child? I'm a child. That must be the little girl. Are you the one that they keep yelling outside, crying at night? <laughs> that must be the little girl. Are you the one that they keep yelling outside, crying at night? Speak to us. Don't be shy. We mean you no harm. We just want to communicate and hear your story. Hotel. Yeah. We are in a hotel. Mirrors. Mirrors. Okay. Is there any mirrors there? Huh? Yeah. Can you show yourself in a mirror? Mm -hmm. Now, normally the Evan videos should get there, right? I don't know if we can try it. Uh, okay, Chuck. Yes. You got your camera. Yes. Brilliant. They love the area. Okay, so let's do this. You want to show yourself? Right? We use the mirror, right? We can stand next to it. I'll shine the light. And all you have to do is just walk and show yourself. Is that okay with you? Caution. Caution. For what? There's nothing gonna happen. He's here. I don't care who's here. Come, let's do it. Is he a good spirit or is a bad spirit? Speak. Is he good or is he bad?
They came from next door. Yeah. Really? Next room. Yeah. Yeah, bang now. Yeah. I thought she, I thought it was the floor. No, it was there. Was that you that banged next door? Was it still recording there? Yeah, that's okay. What's that? 47. Psychic 47. Is it uh, what room number is it? Let's go to 47. Now at this point Michelle leaves the room where we are and goes to the room where the loud bang came from and then she captures some Hey guys, I'm in the room next door now where we heard the loud bang earlier I'm gonna sit in here for a little bit and see if I can pick up anything that the eyes don't see, but the camera might. I just want to get my EMF meter. It's a dog. Okay, I am here. In the room where we heard the loud bang from just now. You can hear Isaac and Nick in the room next door. And there is Nick. <laughs> I'm gonna put that there. So I try and balance it. There we go. If there's anybody here in this room, please make a noise, a bang. You made a hell of a bang earlier, we all jumped. Absolutely nothing in here at the moment. The EMF meter stopped sparking. It just feels so calm in here, funny enough. It doesn't feel eerie or spooky. But in the passageway, oh my goodness, that's a whole different story out there. It's a long passage. We're going to have to come during the day and take a video to show you guys exactly what is out there. 
but we have had lots of activity tonight, like instantly. Cat balls gone off, the EMF meter's gone crazy. Knocks and bangs, it has been really an active evening and we've only been here a short period of time. sit in the passage a little bit and see if we can pick up anything out there that wasn't the most comfortable seat I've ever sat on Stairs. I want to show you these stairs. Look at that. How creepy is that? And then there's stairs going up. I haven't been up yet. Tell me this place is not haunted. It has so much history behind it. Guys, I'm wandering off here on my own. It's not the wisest idea to do. There's a room 13 because hotels don't normally have a room 13. This is room 17 right next door. How does that even make sense? EMF meter has gone completely quiet. When we got here, it was going absolutely tilt. I'm gonna sit here for a moment. <laughs> uh, now, if you look carefully, you can actually see a full body apparition down the passage. And I told you before, look carefully down there, you can actually see it very faintly but it's there look now i ask you is this the figure that everybody sees it's always the one figure that is wearing white creepy as always Thank you. 
that get to me to any harm whatsoever. What I want to know is, are you a demon or a human spirit? Now I ask you, now who or what is this? Is it a face or something leaving the building or is it something peeking into the building? I leave that for you guys to decide. But I want to hear from each and every one of you guys. What do you think this could possibly be? Now stay tuned for part 3. Guys, trust me, there's even more apparitions that you're going to see. Thanks for watching each and every one of you. I hope you guys are having a blessed and awesome day. This is why I'm here. I want to keep you guys entertained. Double Paranormal, keeping you entertained for life. Until the next one guys, stay tuned.